Hey guys, Skinnermo here, and we're back with the second uh, Clan War video for Clash of Clans and with my clan, Pizza Deli. So, yeah, this is the second episode of a series we might be starting in. Right here, we got Jack, Princess Butt, uh, King Dingleberry, and Devil Destroyer, and that's my clan right now. Uh, just not my whole clan, just clan talking. So, anyway, this is a series, uh, the second episode for a series of uh, Clan Wars. So, that's the clan we're going up right now, but as. Uh, I showed you in episode uh, the first episode of the clan we're going against, so I'm just going to show you some replays and some details. So we won 89 to 50, and we got a lot of loot right there. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the first four guys didn't get attacked, um, so this clan was, it was, they were actually attacking lower people than their number, that's probably why they lost. So yeah, I'm going to show you this one right here, it's a one star. And it's kind of uh, clutch with the other team. So right now he's putting the hoggy. So yeah, um, then he uh, puts the bugs down. Then he puts the, uh, the rest of his hogs down. Take uh, down, I think those two cannons right there. Or just one of them. And then so that dragon, um, I'm just gonna tell you right now, it kind of took a while for him to kill it. It made it out, I don't know. But it, not, it didn't, they didn't kill him too fast. Uh, so, it's just kind of right next, right here that he just puts the barbs and lets them go. So I'm going to fast forward just a little. And pretty soon, he's going to put some wizards down right there. Um, so they end up dying, but then he puts some giants, I think maybe distract them. But, uh, then those two wizards are just like, what's all And so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so they get... Um, he's gonna place the rest of his troops pretty soon here. He's gonna place a bunch of archers after this Uzi's. So yeah, he gets the uh, one star by the town hall, not the 50%. I would uh, actually, be, at first I was kind of surprised that I didn't really, wasn't paying attention, and I thought he got the 50%, but really he just, um, he got the town hall, and I'll show you why. As, right, as you can see right there, the town is like, okay, the barge is just gonna take care of him. But then the uh, expo and the took take care of him, and then he puts a raid, but then they all go, uh, go for the Teslas, and then they're dead. So right there, the town hall barely just has any life points left. And it looks like the Barbarian King could have gotten 50% on the outside, and then uh, he soon dies, and so he's left with 40 or so percent, and then, Right here, right about here, he's just gonna, he places a lightning spell and kills the town hall. I mean, that happened, that doesn't happen too often, but just in a war like that, that was just pretty clutch for the other team. So anyway, this next replay I'm gonna show you is uh, another one by, well, actually no, sorry, that, this is by the other clan. Um, my uh, base was an attack, and I wish I could show you that because um, I could show you my replay. So this one is an attack by GP, one of our top people, and he uses balloon. Um, so right now he's just wearing at the troops, and he's gonna put some minions down at the bottom and the left. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just gonna fast forward really quick for the troops to come. He places some Valkyries to take take care of them, and then he places the balloons. Um, I don't think you can really see the doctors up there, they are. And so the balloons are like just taking care of those air defenses and the air defense. And then the minions are just destroying um, what's left. And so yeah, uh, he's getting a two star. The minions are killing that king and then they're gonna get that town hall. So he, right now, he has a lot of balloons left. And the minions are gonna get that town hall. And then he gets a two star, right? He gets a 50, and then he gets two, then he gets a town hall. So yeah, he's doing like a good job right now. Um, it looked like it could have been a three star at first, and then uh, the minions die. And the minions are destroying that air defense right now. Then that wizard tower kind of backs it up. So yeah, then the barbs die. Are between the guys? I think he gets like an 88 percent. I got. But, and then I, uh, the Archbishop just seems to die, so I'm just gonna, uh, exit here, uh, yeah. Yeah, it just dies. 
So now I'm going to show you uh, his second attack, which is a go wipe strategy. And so he puts the uh, golems down and uh, he's putting the wall breakers in. <clears throat> and so, yeah, he's using the go wipe again. Uh, so he gets a two star, as you can see. Uh, so, so, he so he puts those wall breakers in to destroy a couple defenses. And so yeah, he's about to get into it. Um, his golems are trying to like, break into that wall. Or, yeah, but, yeah. Okay, so then he puts the packets in and puts some wings in. He's starting out. He kind of has a lot of shoots left. He's not putting them all in at first. So those packets, uh, that packa just killed those Grand Castle wizards, and that one pack is going around the base getting the outside which kind of helps at the end you'll see how um so those wizzies uh they're about to destroy that town hall i think kind of taking all of the other damage but yeah they got the one star right now that one will be dragging uh, taking out the two so right there <clears throat> puts down the witch he's gonna put down another witch later and the healer's healing them so he's got the skull uh, he's got the skeletons protecting the witch and the healer healing the witch so right now he just needs to get the 50% of that barbarian king dies up there. So those barbarians I think they got that last 50. Anyway, those witches are um, doing good right now. And uh, I don't like if that witch is no that's not gonna get a three star at the witch, but uh, uh, let's see how long they go. I think they go till the time runs out and yeah the witch just keeps going and going and going and going. And going going to the time runs out so yeah that was pretty cool it's, uh, if only the it can go quicker it could have been a possible three star if uh, like they could have had like the um, stuff so anyway yeah the two star and another one nine right there i attacked him just for a loot um so yeah just look at that guy it's just super easy to attack and I'm gonna show you a replay on my guy really quick right here. Um, at 16 fire, I use kind of like a go wipe strategy instead of golems giants, as I I think I told you. And I know you're saying like giants they get wrecked way more easier than golems, but I used it. Or well, as I said, if you use it like wisely, the giants will actually uh, do good. And actually, I think one. Of, one of the giants is one of the last troops in here. So yeah, uh, the giants go in. Um, they're I just placed that heal spell on them, so they're doing okay. No, actually I didn't yet, so I'm gonna put that heal spell right about now. And yeah, those wizards are just like getting that, uh, trying to get that outside stuff. The base which is actually pretty handy. I put those campers in and the uh, wall breakers to break that wall so they can get that town hall. And so the campers are right. Like, mm -hmm. One shot and everything, and yeah, so place a rage there because um probably shit what well, could have um it was okay, but I didn't maybe I didn't have to because I had two tanks there they could have destroyed that tunnel. Just that I had future experiences where that happened and the pet was dying. I just like whatever. I just did it because just just to be uh, safe or whatever. But anyway, I get that two star. I could have totally three star this base if me if I had golems as, as I'm getting now. But those giants, um, they look that giant actually stayed really long. But if I had golems, my troops probably could have stayed a little longer. And that's where the giants, um, that's where the go where you need golems. And right here, um, I just do this just for the heck of it. I just gonna put that wall breaker there. It's like, ha, oh, I'm ready, and it dies. Okay. So anyway, that's um it. Now, uh, yeah, so we won by a lot, um, we just got a lot of people, we, so we're just like, we're a good board clan right here, and we're good at donating and a bunch of other stuff, so, yeah, um, also, before, before this episode ends, I want to show you a replay of one of my, uh, of what I do to get loot. It's I use the bag strategy. So right here I got a lot of loot and a nice amount of dark helix I just got a thousand. But as you can see I just look for um maybe not all the time maxed out collectors mostly I, I try doing that. 
but just like max, uh, yeah, maxed out collectors or like full collectors. It doesn't have to be a maxed out one. Um, but uh, just a lot of loot, and also the higher the town hall, the more loot you get. So sometimes an inactive rush town hall base is a good way to get loot. That's just like the perfect base for me. And so yeah, look, um, I get a lot of loot here. So yeah, I'm just placing the bars. Um, they can't reach the other bars. This is just like a this guy just really is sucky. Huh? Yeah, that's what happens if you be inactive. Just loot and take it. And you can actually get all that, could have had all that loot there. This that happens when you uh, be inactive, like, yeah. Or sometimes people um, can be like on vacation or something. And I can, I can get that, but this guy is just totally rushed and everything. It's just, this guy kind of sucks. So yeah, I got that loot and I got that three star right there, that loser tower just sucked. But yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching and uh, tell your friends and if you like it, um, tell me um, what else you want, just comment below, um, subscribe and just thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.